This is a second example for calculating pressure and volume changes using Boyle's Law formula. I again have the formula written right here, P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. So in this problem it says synthetic diamonds can be manufactured at pressures of 6.00 times 10 to the 4th atmospheres. If we took 2 liters of gas at 1 atmosphere and compressed it to a pressure of 6 0.00 times 10 to the fourth atmospheres, what would the volume of the gas be? So we know we're using Boyle's law here. So P1, V1, P2, V2. I'm always going to write my variables because I don't have to deal with the words as much. So synthetic diamonds can be manufactured at pressures of. It doesn't tell me anything other than what, how I can manufacture diamonds. If we took 2 liters of gas at 1.00 atmospheres, so that's the starting stuff, the liters is your volume, and I have 1.00 atmospheres, and I compress it to a pressure of 6.00 times 10 to the 4th atm, what would the volume be? So this time I'm looking for volume. I'd rewrite my formula again. I circle the variable that I'm looking for. So, oh, I wrote that wrong, didn't I? Sorry about that. You should be twos. Two, two. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm looking for V2. So if you're struggling to do the arrangement, rearranging, then you'd circle that. Um, and then I'm going to, this is multiplied, so I'm going to divide both sides by the variable I need to move. I need to keep V2 by itself, so I need to move P2. If I do it to one side, I do it to the other side. I would rewrite this, starting with the variable I'm looking for, V2. P1, V1 over P2. And all I have to do is plug P1, 1.00 ATM times V1, 2.00 liters, over my new pressure, those are zeros, 10 to the 4 atm. I'm going to cancel out my atmospheres. Now you don't have to do this intermediate step, but I am just going to show this would be multiplied. So it would be 2 liters, because the liters is not cancelled, over this number, which no longer has a unit. So I'm going to take my calculator and I have to remember how to enter numbers using scientific notation. So I'm going to divide these two. And I'm getting three point, a whole bunch of threes. If I look, all of these have three significant digits. So three, three times 10 to the minus 5 liters. So if I start with 2 liters, in order to get this big pressure increase, I'm going to have to reduce the volume a lot. Alright, because this is a tiny volume because it has a negative exponent. So we just used Boyle's Law to calculate a new volume.